Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, it's for season seven of the NRSL Napa Cup series. So today we are starting the front row with two rookies, O'Neill Balvin and Daniel Olson. Starting in row two is JT Bryant, then DJ Curtis, and then Xavier Springis and Seth Cole as the first three rows. As season seven is going to kick off here. With 24 laps for the Pigs Creek 499. As they come down the long front stretch here, this four mile track will set up for some good four, five, six wide racing here as the green flag is out for the first time in season seven here in the Napa Cup series. As we have a lot of new names this season, it's going to be really exciting to see who's going to fight for a championship in the end. We always have a few, two or three rookies, always, um, in the mix at, towards the end of it, fighting for a championship. And it's always good to see those young guys because hopefully we see them towards uh, later in the seasons, 8, 9, and 10, and so on. But down the backstretch for the first time this season, O'Neill Balvin leads him out, leads him down. As he's got cars left, right, behind him, sideways, diagonal, everywhere around him as Tommy Turbo takes the lead on the bottom. So we have three rookies, four rookies battling it out for the lead here, four wide almost. And as the uh, 42, Jonathan Zorline, uh, on the bottom there, he's going to try and take a top five spot here over the nine of Kyle Math or, oh my god, nine of Zach Fitzwater. It's Tommy Turbo in the 15, Oreo Chevy SS will lead lap number one. Is a, for the, I think, I think this is the only time we've probably ever gone green Look at this racing we have here. How, what, what wide is this? One, two, three, four, five wide at least. Look at DJ Curtis getting shuffled back through the field. As um, Tommy let the first lap and maybe the second. But um, it's right. I've seen these rookies up here though for sure. Sees the new uh, face of the uh, Napa Cup series for sure. As I think I think the series is almost at like 60 40 of uh, rookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, thirteen to forty. Almost 50 50, but it's uh. Yeah, about 60 40 almost of rookies here. So great to see some newcomers in the series always. As we have a side-by-side -side battle for the lead here between Seth Cole and Tommy Turbo, and Tommy leads it again. As the only drivers in the field that have another shot of this uh, two-time winning of the Pigs Creek 499 are Zach Fitzwater from season number three and Alex Hawkins in season number five. And as Seth Cole is your leader now. He's in a new number, the 80 Liberty University Chevrolet. As he will running, he'll be running a number of paint schemes this season, along with the 02 Jessica Shelton, the 03 of Charles Sanford, and the 09 of Kyle Matthews. And Seth Colt leads him off of turn four once again. Is we do not have a caution yet. I'm kind of surprised, but look at this. James Shelley cannot get on the pace here all by herself. Or all by himself. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> Kyle Matthews also. And Charles Sanford. Bit off the pace maybe to see what's going on because they know this track can get a bit wild through the mid-late mid -late parts of this race. Xavier Springis, a Ricky driver in the one Cessna Chevrolet. The Chevy looks like it's dominating this top five right now. I think I see about two Toyota, or a Toyota, or a Ford. So here comes the nine of Zach Fitzwater to the bottom. Remember, he knows, he knows how to win here. He won here back in season three. It will not be surprised to see him 
for the first time back here in since season four, I believe. Like I said, he knows how to win. These were five wide for freaking well, like top ten spots, I think. Look at this. We're seven wide, I think. There's definitely going to be a wreck. I can see it coming. There it is. Down around goes Zach Rogers, I see. Angel Navarro gets into the field. That's the 17 of Nick Pericles. Uh, the 31 of Harrison Ponder involved. Oh, uh, no. Daniel Olsen involved. That's Keith Batson as well. And Ash Curtis with heavy damage. It'll take you back to the front of the field, and it's Seth Cole leading us in front of Nicholas Guerrero as well, and Zach Fitzwater. Seth Cole has been with us since, I believe, season number two, and he has yet to come out on top here in Pig Creek. He's had his chances for sure, but uh, he will take us back to the caution flag here as we'll be right back to uh, see what happened to bring out this yellow. So here it is right here. It's uh, Daniel Olsen it starts the main contact. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Pericles starts out the first contacts with him, Nick Brockman, and Chris Dodd. Goes up into the five, just barely clips the tail end. And both of them make contact with Ponder and uh, Olsen, and then Rogers and Pericles. Unfortunate heartbreak for Rogers. This is first run through here at Pigs Creek ends. Actually, it doesn't end really early, but Keith Batson runs in the back of him. Let's look at Angel Navarro. We saw him turned around. Not sure uh, what happened to him. We saw in the in the uh, live shot he was. Ah, he thought he could get through. He ran into Keith Batson. So Keith Batson definitely has some damage that he'll need to fix. We'll have a lot of guys off the pace here, so we'll take you back green here at Pigs Creek. As I'm sorry, we're back green, but Ian Dutta is your leader coming off the pit road here. Seth Cole running up second now. Look at teammate Jessica Shelton coming up in the third position to pass Seth Cole. Shelton has been here for a while, too, for at least four seasons, and she has yet to come up with a win here at Pigs Creek. Now this win sets you up for um, the next uh, 14 races of relief. We should say, as we have a uh, slow car of Harrison Ponder. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Uh, my fraps actually closed down, so it's not the recording. I tried to stop it as soon as possible. So uh, we didn't miss much, but Harrison Ponder does split up the field with a slow race car, as somebody's really slow. Ian Dutt is about to go on 140. As Lamas comes down pit road as well. So, a lot of stuff going on. I'm sorry about that, folks. But uh, Zachary Fitzwater is your leader. As everything cycles through. Followed by Seth Cole, Ryder Smith, J uh, Jonathan Zorline, Pollard, and Nicholas Guerrero. Let's look at Shelton with a huge run heading into turn three here over the 01 and the 11. This could be good in the long run if uh, Shelton and Cole can get a tandem going to the end. I told you the end of this, but we have teammates, three teammates right here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Um, and two teammates here, one, two of Ryder Smith and Zach Fitzwater as now we have turned single file here as we are still green and the only retirees of that race were um, uh, Daniel Olson and Ash Curtis but uh, Ian Dutta had to retire from no fuel issues he couldn't uh, the gas pump would not work for him 
as they got a little bit in and then he just ran out and they cannot get anything working there so they have to retire from the race unfortunately and look at this we're almost four wide for the lead now as here comes jo Jonathan Zurline Gee, I'm gonna say Joey a lot this season I'm gonna freaking know it and that 42 team has had success in the past calling from last season Um, as they almost made the chase. Oh, freaking fraps. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll definitely have this fixed before next race. Anyway, uh, Fitzwater and Cole battling for the lead here. And Shelton now moves up to the second position, and they have gained a couple people for the contentions of this race. Or just one, O'Neal Balvin, your pole sitter. So we're running five wide here for third. And coming up on slow, Cody Lamas here. Fitzwater gets through him unharmed. And basically, uh, pretty much everybody else does two, besides the 11. Really, there's nowhere to go. What's going on? And that has spread the field out a little bit more as they go by Keith Batson as well. As now it's the 43 and the 9 battling it out for the lead so far here at Pigs Creek. And as they're side by side coming off the of turn two here down the back stretch. As now everybody's caught back up, and Seth Cole and Jessica Shelton are now in the mix, and now Pollard and everybody else. Look at this. We are now in a pack again, folks. As here comes Harrison Ponder. He's not even in fourth gear, and here he comes down pit road. Forced by NRSL. They come down when the leaders are coming towards them. But here comes everybody else now. They better make it inside that last cone or they're going to be screwed. But four did stay out, and that's Shelton, Cole. Three of the four teammates in this pack have stayed out on a different strategy than most, and the 43 as well. And it's going to be a bunch of slow cars. No tires, or tires are being taken, excuse me. But a um, Luis Hernandez is first out. And then followed by uh, James Shelley, Zach Fitzwater, Guerrera, Zorline, Balvin, seven of Max Newworth, and then James Qualls, JT Bryant, Alex Hawkins, season five winner. Haven't talked about him much today. Here come the leaders, though, this time around for sure, hopefully. No. Cole and Shelton stay out another time around as Pericles is slow approaching the 0-2 and the 80. And Seth Cole is slow now. Whoa. We didn't catch that. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. But look at this. Seth Cole has ran out of fuel. As he thought he could make it around one more lap with Shelton. But now he's coasting 100 down the backstretch. Probably not even going to make it around. Unless he gets rammed in the earth. But Jessica Shelton is your leader. Also, just coasting to pit road here. In fourth, getting out of third gear. Now in neutral right now. 
Getting to her pit stall. As that is what you call tight tight strategies there for sure. Okay. And the yellow is how we just got noticed. Is who is involved in a wreck? Actually, I think it's just uh, what happened with uh, Seth Cole. I think he's stopped on the track right now. Oh, he's going less than 30 miles an hour. That does bring out the caution here. As we'll take you back green. And back green once again, folks. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting it. But a lot of people are tired for uh, no fuel. And if you're stopped on the track and no fuel, you are unable to finish the race. It's just because Shelton has now only got one teammate left to help her win this race. But now Pollard has the lead. Pollard's been with us since season one, and he has come up short every season. I believe that AD has not retired from the race, but is a lap down. And here comes Seth Cole around here. Harrison Ponder really only on 189. I believe the uh, minimum speed under power is uh, 170, so he's barely making it. As we are coming to eight laps to go in this uh, very unorganized pick streak, 499. I'm sorry, guys. Wish I could have made it better. But Jonathan Zerline, definitely really wanting to take a win here as Pollard has held off Fitzwater. Fitzwater has another shot of taking two Pigs Creek 499 titles home with him today. But everybody else, Pollard, Shelton, Guerrera, Zerline, all hungry for one. And they want to spoil his parade, and hopefully he does not win this race. But whoever does win this race really doesn't have to worry for anything for the next 13 races, 14 races. As they will be six. Uh, They'll be setting up for running for a championship here. Or well, at least the first round of the chase. By the way, guys, uh, changes for the schedule. Really only uh, it's, uh, chase races because I really didn't have much time or really have any will to uh, change anything in the regular schedule. Everything was actually pretty decent for the most part. But um, no more South Boston. We are just going to regular Boston, which is a one-mile short track. As we are approaching the slow car of, I believe, a Terrace and Ponder. Oh, no, it's Dylan Young. Who was also involved in that first track early on. And Pollard has separated himself from the leaders a little bit here. He's been dying for a win here. And as he comes down pit row for the final time today, I believe he's the only one. As Shelton will lead lap this lap. Here comes Fitzwater side by side with him. Fitzwater has always had a good car here when we ran here. Just really hasn't had the uh, power besides season number one or three. But a reminder of your uh, winners here at Pigs Creek. Zach Buchanan won season one in the 13 car. Remember Preston Plourd in the 16. Won season two. Fitzwater right now in the nine. Won season three. Back in the 41 car. Um, 
Scab Nicky won in, um, oh my god, what did he win? I forgot what he won in. Um, Hawkins won in the 14 car. Back when we used the mod, like, which mod, whichever mod we did use. Um, Acosta won in, obviously, the 07 car. So, it's not been a double car to win this, uh, uh, Pig's Creek race. As here comes their last pit stops here. Is your leader at the line? Is the four of Alex Hawkins also have won has won this thing before? But with no draft, it does slow him down. And when coming back around, so it'll definitely be interesting to see how far he can move up to um hopefully fight for a win here in the next three laps. Look at Ish Taylor, teammate Alex Hawkins slowed up. I don't know why he slowed up though. But uh, Alex Hawkins should be coming around this time here for his final pit stop of the day. And top off on fuel, hopefully be in and out really quick. Maybe that was his plan. I thought we had a caution and I wanted to check and I feel like checking the pace car. Jesus. Look at all these retirees because of no fuel. Dutta, uh, Hernandez, Shelly, uh, Casey. That's about it. Sanford and Curtis retired from the wreck. Lamas also did as well um, for not meeting pace speeds, so they had to retire. Brockman retired. Uh, uh, I was going to say Hawkins. Amy Shelley is retired, and so has Olsen and Ash Curtis. As here comes the 9, the 02, and the 01. All in a little three car pack. Behind them is Zerline. Just barely holding up. Let's take an onboard look. As look how close he is. He almost has that draft, I believe, by the last stop. He will have that opportunity. And is that the 42 car looking to go to victory lane here today in about two and a half laps. Pollard makes a move on the inside of Shelton. This is helping Zerline's case as it makes him closer to these leaders. And we could have a four car battle for this win. And everybody's really running, kind of just running their own races. We had a bunch of wrecks early on. Haven't really had a caution in a while to bunch the field up again, as we will have two laps to go. Zach Fitzwater has been pretty much dominating this race since the first caution, and since Seth Cole ran out of fuel. As here comes a slow Harrison Ponder. As it slows up really much, everybody, and here comes Zerline. Now we have a four-car battle for the lead and maybe more with everyone being slowed down by the uh, 31. As we're coming to the white flag here. This time around, as we approach Ish Taylor, who's running about 40 miles an hour slower than the... Uh, then um, the leaders, those both frames right there, get killed. As Zerline now battling with Pollard for second as we come to the white flag here. One lap to go. Can Zach Fitzwater make it two in a row here at Pig's Creek? As Ish Taylor comes up on him as they hit the line. As Pollard goes to the bottom and... Zerline and Fitzwater go to the top. They split the gap of both Tellier and Ish Taylor. And Pollard now has the lead. Maybe was that the uh, last motive, last move that Fitzwater made? Or will he fight back here? Pollard now has the lead. Fitzwater goes high. Will Shelton make a move or will she help? Teammate Pollard to victory lane. 
As we come off turn th or come into turn three here, Zerline to the bottom. Will SP3 take home a Pigs Creek win? Lock him in into the chase as he did not make it last year. Or will Shelton do it? Zerline or Fitzwater has come off a of four. It's a pretty sizable gap here as Stephen Pollard the third. Hopefully, we'll not get caught up by the slow Dylan Young. But Stephen Pollard the third coming to the long straightaway will. Probably take the checkered flag, and he will. He wins here at Pigs Creek. Wow. As Pollard takes the win, as Shelton comes up short, second place here. As Fitzwater ends up third, and Zerline fourth. As we'll simulate the rest of the race here to for everybody to finish. As look at the Terriers. 29 cars finished the race. A bunch of them won. Two, three, four, five. Five cars really messing up the field here. But uh, Pollard is your winner here today at Pigs Creek. Season 7 winner. I knew he'd get it done eventually as he locks himself into the chase for the NRSL Napa Cup Series. As we'll see him competing for a championship here at come race 16 at Talladega. Thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the bottom half of your results, as we'll see you guys at Canadian Tire for race number two. Here you see you guys later.